going to be now starting part one of a two-part painting. The first part of this painting we are going to do in just a wash of abstract colors. We're going to be using a technique called wet on wet. So wet paper and wet paint. So the first thing we're going to do is wet our paper with water. So we dip our wash brush into the water and we just bring the water across the entire paper. Make sure that there are no dry spots. So what I like to do to ensure that it really does stay wet through the whole process, because you'll see that your paper, even the thick 140 pound, will start to curl. We don't want that to happen. And when it's wet, you'll see it very shiny. So I go through and I look to see if there's any dry spots that aren't shiny. Once I've wet one side and it starts to curl, I flip it so that it sticks to my blue mat. And then I wet the other side. And this is the side I'm actually going to paint on. And when both sides are wet, it will help our page not curl so much. And then it ensures everything stays moist to allow me to finish the technique that I'm going to be doing today without having to continually re-wet my paper. Okay, there we go. Everything is nice and wet. And since we're going to be using liquid watercolor paints, I've already opened some of them up. Uh, I've already dampened my brush with a little bit of water. And all I want to do is create a random pattern. So I'm going to be using the colors blue and green, purples, so that we create a harmony effect. So blue, turquoise, green, green, purple, into the pinky reds, okay, or red violets. So we're going to start with blue, and it's going to be quite dramatic the look that it gets when it drops onto the wet. I've allowed the water to absorb just a little bit and I'm not just going to put it in one spot and I'm not going to try to paint so it looks like a thing. I'm just going to drop down some color because this is all going to mix. Okay, So I'm going to drop in and I can drop in blue in more than one area and then go back over it to create more intense colors. You'll see that because the water is on the paper, it's going to um, disperse or it's going to move the color for you and it's going to get very feathery and beautiful. So don't keep painting on top of that, you're just going to wreck it. Okay, we're looking back on our finished project using liquid watercolors on Arches 140 pound watercolor paper and you can see some of the beautiful effects that we've achieved by using coarse sal table salt and it's created these lovely blooms. I'm going to focus in on a couple of areas where we did wet on wet and then we used um, our spray bottle and speckled it when it was almost dry so it created these wonderful crackly edges. Look at that effect. There's no way you could get that with a brush. That looks really neat. So over here where the salt has dissolved also it's created these wonderful speckled areas. Again would you sit there with a brush trying to create that? They look like little islands. Um, you have little bits of salt that need to be knocked off of your page and what looks like the beginnings of um, a beautiful background for a painting, an undersea scene with coral, maybe it's um, a garden scene, so lots of different options. Mm -hmm. 